Hey guys, my name is Em and welcome back to the start of a brand new weekly reading vlog. I am so, so excited for this reading vlog because I am in such an autumnal spooky season mood and I am so excited for spooky season and September and just awesome in general. I am so, so excited. However, this is technically like the last week of summer, so I am going to try and enjoy the last week of summer as well. So yeah, welcome to the reading vlog. I actually meant to start this vlog yesterday because today is actually Tuesday and I usually start my weekly vlogs on a Monday, but I actually had work last night and I didn't read anything before work. And then I did read a bit at work, but I was way too tired to open the vlog when I got home. But yeah, the book that I picked up last night and the book that I'm gonna be reading this week is The Atlas Paradox by Olivia Blake. This is the sequel to The Atlas Six. I think there's gonna be three books in that series. I think it's a trilogy. The third one I think is coming out like, I think like middle of next year. So I do have quite a while to wait if this ends on a cliffhanger like the first one did. But I'm really excited to read this. Honestly, I was just like going through my shelves and I was like, I actually do not know what I want to read because I'm not in like a romance book mood, which is so strange because usually I'm always in a romance mood, but I also wasn't really in a fantasy book mood either. So I was just kind of like trying to figure out which book I wanted to pick up. And I was like, you know what? I know the one. We're gonna get started on our autumnal reading early and I decided to pick up this book. And this is actually perfect timing as well because I'm actually doing like a little mini readathon with my best friend Sophia from Tiny Un Universe. We're doing like a little mini chill cozy awesome readathon from yesterday until like tomorrow or Thursday I think. And there's no prompts, there's nothing, it's just us reading together. And also she actually came over to visit me last week and we spent a couple of days together last week. So I will put the footage of that in this vlog after the intro because we went to the beach and we did some other fun things and I just wanted to put it in a vlog but we didn't like do like a full vlog when she was here because she was only here for a few days and somehow like we always have the intention to vlog but then we never actually do because we just are having so much fun and like living in the moment. I read The Atlas Six with Sophia I think like two years ago and we both just loved it so much. We read the entire second half of the book in one sitting. I think we did like a FaceTime call and we read for like eight hours straight and we finished the second half of the book. It was just so good and so atmospheric and so magical and just everything about it I loved. So I'm really hoping that this one lives up to the first one. So last night I was reading and I made it up to page 36. I didn't get a lot read but honestly I feel like the start of this book is just a bit slower and the writing style isn't like the easiest thing to read so it is just taking me that little bit longer to read and that's totally fine. But what I've really noticed is I really miss reading this with So for two reasons. The first one, obviously our buddy reads are iconic and I love buddy reading books with my friends and that's always a vibe. But the second one is that I miss her theories and her explanations so much. Like I miss so many details when I'm reading, unless I'm like reading like so, so slowly. So that's something that I already miss because some of these details are gonna go straight over my head and I'm gonna be like watching a review video when I finish this and I'm gonna be like, did that, did that happen in this book? And it would be like one of the biggest plot points of the book. So yeah, I'm gonna like try and not rush through this book because I do really wanna understand everything. And it's not like a difficult book to read, but there is a lot going on and a lot of like words and it's, there's a lot going on in this book basically. But yeah, that is the book that I'm currently reading. I don't have a TBR other than that because I've literally barely finished any books recently, but I'm so, so in the mood for autumn and autumnal reading. I think I'm gonna like start planning my autumn TBR and I have like this idea for this video that I'm gonna do for my autumn TBR, but I don't know how I'm gonna execute it, but I really wanna do it. And basically it's gonna be, you know like those vlogs that are like the ultimate book video it's gonna be like that but like the ultimate tbr video because i'm gonna first go like through my shelves and i like, pick out the books that i have already physically that i want to put on my awesome tbr and then i'm gonna go like book shopping order them wait for them to arrive unbox them and then like build a TBR cart basically. So it's gonna be like the ultimate like TBR video and I'm really excited for that. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it, but I will. And hopefully it will be up soon enough because I wanna get like a good amount of books read this September and October. But yeah, that is all I have to say for right now. I've literally just made myself an iced coffee and I'm gonna go sit and read and enjoy that. And I might put a booktube video on in the background or like an ASMR room or something. Making the cozy vibes already. Like I think a part of my personality defrosts as we come into autumn. There's just a certain part of me that's like secretly a pumpkin or something because I literally get so excited at this time of year. But yeah, that is all I have to say for right now. Welcome to the vlog. I hope you enjoy and I will talk to you later.
Yes, so. <laughs> coffee machine is literally not working I don't know how to fix it like I I don't know what to do and it is literally the one morning that like I desperately need coffee like more than anything okay after much trying it gave me a cup of something there's coffee in this cup it doesn't look how it usually looks but I think I'm just gonna go with it honestly like I I don't know like it doesn't like that looks that looks drinkable <laughs> so I'm gonna drink it okay besties it is now Friday and it is September 1st today which means that it is officially spooky season and I'm so excited like I literally love autumn I love spooky reading I love when the weather is kind of like still warm sometimes during the day but it gets like cooler at night and in the mornings and the leaves start to change colors like I just I love autumn but also I wanted to give you a reading update because I've decided to put a little pause on the Atlas Paradox not DNFing it but right now I kind of want to like be able to finish books and I want to be able to like read to relax and unwind rather than like have to think about what I'm reading and like decipher things nothing against the book I will be back to the book like as soon as possible but like right now I just know that like in order to get out of this reading slump I need to like start finishing books so yesterday I decided to pick up a book on my kindle and I decided to start The Inmate by Frieda McFadden I've heard a lot about Frieda McFadden recently particularly The Housemaid, The Housemaid's Secret and lots of her other books as well and I decided to start The Inmate yesterday I did not make it that far through but it is only like 300 and something pages so hopefully I'll be able to kind of fly through it and honestly I think the goal is to like finish it today and I know that's quite ambitious because I've not finished a book in weeks and I've honestly not even read in weeks but I think that I want to try and finish this book today because I think trying to finish because I think finishing a book on like the first of September is just iconic and like the first day of spooky season to finish a thriller is just stunning. I'm not 100% sure what the plot of this book is but all I know so far is that our main character has moved back to like her hometown after her parents died and she moves back with her son and she starts working at this maximum security prison and basically in this prison is the man that tried to kill her like 10 years previous or something and as soon as she gets there and she sees him he tells her that he didn't do it that somebody else did it and that person that he said did it has just asked her out on a date so it's interesting, it's intriguing, don't know where it's gonna go, don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm interested and I want to keep reading. And I do find that like thrillers are really easy books to like fly through because you kind of just need to know what happens, like you really want to know where it's gonna go. So that is my plan for right now. I am literally so tired and I desperately need a coffee but we don't have any milk to make a coffee. So I'm going to either have to walk to the shop to get milk or walk to the cafe to get a coffee. I possibly might do both but I feel like if I have to make the journey to get the milk I might as well stop in for a coffee along the way you know girl math right there but yeah that is my update for right now I will come back to you when I'm further into the inmate and I will let you know my thoughts. There's a rainbow it's so pretty. Hi best. 
besties okay it's been a while um but i'm here because i want to give you an outcrate unboxing and i'm very very excited also i'm in my living room right now i literally never film in my living room but i'm doing the unboxing here for two reasons reason number one is that missy is having a nap on my bed and if i go in and like start filming it's gonna interrupt her it's currently like 1 p.m and the girl has been asleep since eight o'clock this morning when i got up so clearly she needs the rest but the second reason is that i'm cooking pasta on the stove and i feel like it's not a good idea to walk away from something that you're cooking on the stove and like leave and go into another room because the whole house could go up in flames and I wouldn't be any the wiser so that's why I'm in here but I am so excited to do an L crate unboxing okay so this is the July box and the theme is break the curse Ooh, that looks so good I cannot wait to see what's in here okay so the first thing that I see is this little pouch and this looks so cute first and foremost and I'm assuming it like folds into something I have the fear that like however this unfolds I will not be able to fold it again right but you know what it's fine oh my god okay so this is like a little shopping bag which is so cute and it folds up so tiny so it will fit in like any handbag or purse that you have first of all this is like literally stunning I don't know who these characters are that are on this bag but they look very familiar to me oh my god I know who they are they are from Hell's Moving Cast that is Stunning, oh my god. Okay, so next up we have the pin of the month, which they have been absolutely slaying their pin game recently. So this one is inspired by Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. You can see this absolutely stunning cover of the pin and then it does open as well, which it is just so beautiful and so unique. Like I just think whoever designed these pins deserves a raise because like this is just so phenomenal. Okay, so next we have this box and I just read the back and it says, Shine magical reflections into your home with this enchanting sun catcher inspired by violet made of thorns. That sounds so cool. Oh my god. Literally stop. Like that is so pretty. I'm definitely going to put this up in my room. On the little moon as well it says my curse my ruin. And there's like the little sun there. And the sun catcher part. Oh my god. That is the prettiest thing ever. Oh my God, that's definitely going up in my room. Oh, oh my God, it's a highlighter. Oh my God, so our fairy tale highlighter set inspired by The Wrath and the Dawn, Six Crimson Cranes and To Kill a Kingdom is the best set to have for highlighting and annotating your favorite bookish quotes while you traverse into marvelous and inspiring stories. Each highlighter color matches the three books and features a quote from each book that embodies the magic and light of fairy tale retellings. That's so cute. So there's three little highlighters in here. So we have a blue highlighter that's says love and madness are two stars in the same sky the and they're like double-sided as well so there's like a finer tip and then there's also like the highlighter tip and that is so perfect like I'm definitely getting back into annotating so much needed and then we have a pink one which says find the light that makes your lantern shine love that and then finally we have the purple one which says after all every story has a story I absolutely love these oh my god I've just taken a peek at the next item and I'm like a bit in shock actually because it's like this notebook. It's a lined notebook as well. Um, This is like a leather bound notebook but it's also like squishy. Like it's thick leather. I don't know why that's relevant to tell you but just to help you further picture this notebook. It's like thick leather and this is absolutely stunning and on the front it says how to live forever and then there's another quote on the back which says what is a person if not the marks they leave behind and that quote is looking very familiar to me i can't put my finger on what book it's inspired by but i know that i've heard of that quote before so i will have a look at the spoiler card at the end and tell you what this is inspired by because it's very familiar to me also like the spine of the notebook is like decorated like a book which is just a big sleigh love that and then we're on to the book which just looks gorgeous but i've never heard of this book before and it is garden of the curse by katie rose pool this looks so pretty like this just looks so mystical so magical so whimsical it has these blue sprayed edges as well and then on the back it looks so like mysterious and magical and mystical and there is a quote as well that says secrets can't protect me only the truth can i am going to open this book up to have a little look on the inside but i've never heard of this book before so that's very exciting i literally just like took the cover off and just got continuously shocked because first of all there's these stunning end pages there's my pasta ready. Alexa, stop. So basically, on the naked hardcover, there is this stunning foil embossing. And it says Grimoire on the front with this gorgeous, like, rose gold embossing. And then the back of it actually has me a bit speechless. Um, and it's, like, decorated like a book. And it says The Ballad of the Moon Thief, which just intrigues me so much. Like, this is the prettiest 
like naked hardcover that I think Elle Crate have done so far. But then that's still not all because on the reverse dust jacket there's this absolutely phenomenal artwork as well. Like literally come on like that is so pretty oh my god. I absolutely loved every single thing in that box and I've never heard of the book but it just looks so good and it's immediately intrigued me by the cover and all of the beautiful artwork under the dust jacket as well. But now let me go through the spoiler card really really quickly to tell you where everything is from and what everything is inspired by. So the theme is Break the Curse as I've said and the faux book journal is the second in one of our 2023 collections. So the quote was from The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I knew I recognised it somewhere and honestly I really want to reread that book because it was so magical and it was designed by Lichen and Limestone. Then the fairy tale highlighters are designed by Yi Tasman Sharopa and they are inspired by Tequila Kingdom, Six Crimson Cranes and The Wrath and the Dawn as well. Then the reusable folding shopping bag is inspired by Howl's Moving Castle and it was designed by Anne Guyon Art. Then the sun catcher was designed by Teresa Shen and it was inspired by Violet Made of Thorns. And then the enamel pin is designed by No One Designs and it was inspired by Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. A book that I actually really want to get to this winter. I've literally wanted to get to it for like the past like three or four winters and I just haven't so I really want to read that this year and then to describe a little bit about the book because I literally have no clue what this book is about and it says our July book features a world of curses and deceptions in Garden of the Cursed we enter a deadly society that isn't what it seems brief pause because oh my god this is about like a secret society this is perfect for dark academia season I honestly want to start this book right now. Anyways let's continue. Our protagonist Marlo Briggs takes the risk and makes a deal with the boy who turned her away in order to get closer to her mother's disappearance. But yeah that is it for this Alcrate unboxing. I absolutely loved every single item which is no surprise because Alcrate just consistently slays. But yeah honestly I think I'm going to end out this reading vlog here because this is a weekly vlog and it's definitely been longer than a week since I started this vlog. So I'm going to end out the vlog here. I really really hope you enjoyed. Comment the sun emoji if you watched to the end and yeah thank you so so much for watching guys stay amazing stay kind and i'll see you in the next one bye